Good morning, YouTube. I want to talk about why um, dividend investing, and and there's many different strategies. I mean, me and my my um, what I'm doing right now is 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 cash flow, trying to get as much cash. Um, as I can and usually uh, maybe uh, I don't know because um, basically when you buy stock let, let's say the, the dividend ranges uh, it can be from like a penny um, you know, or, or like 0.00 or 0.1 percent, or or something less than one percent, um, to you know, 10 percent or more, and you know, ideally, you want to stay away from the the 10 percent higher ones. Um, unless you know what you're doing or you think you know what you're doing um, you know like I said the, the slow and steady way wins the race usually and um, if you invest in a smaller company uh, it might be in the S&P 500 but maybe it maybe its dividend is very low like less than 1% um, and I don't know an example of that might be Microsoft or something you know usually tech stocks don't even pay a dividend but <clears throat> the <clears throat> beauty of um, investing in a low dividend paying stock is you know over if you plan on holding this thing for you know 40 years you know it might um, I think I might have touched this in one video but um, you know maybe one year it pays 25 cent a quarter and, and and the next year it pays 30 cent and, and the next year it's, it's paying 35 cent and you know fast forward 10 years and you know it might be paying a dollar a quarter now so um, buying it uh, a low dividend um, the stock should in theory um, you know increase over time granted it's a good good company a good business and um, if they've grown their dividend for the last 10 years you know or last 20 years or the last 30 years or the last 50 years you know they're probably going to try to keep um, paying that dividend and to me the beauty of um, dividend investing um, you have like normal swings um, let's say you bought the stock at twenty twenty dollars and let, let's say the peak went to, to, to 50 and uh, let's say when you when you bought the the bought the stock at 20 it was paying a three percent yield and then it um, drops all the way down to 10 well you know if you're buying at 50 you're no longer getting a three percent you're you're probably getting um, less than half that but if you're get if you bought it at 10 um, you're probably getting 10 percent I mean I mean six percent um, dividend yield um, 
I mean, one example of something that maybe pays 7% is maybe, um, I know, I don't know, six months ago, maybe more, ExxonMobil was probably paying 6 or 7%. Um, but since then, you know, it's probably doubled or tripled in price um, since then. But to me, the beauty of dividend investing is it doesn't matter really if the price is high or low. If you, if you, um, I mean, obviously you want the price to go up and keep going up, but, but if you're trying to buy more shares, um, you, you want, you want the price to be low. You know, and then you actually get a better yield on your uh, on your cost. You know, like I said, the, the previous example, let's say you bought a stock for twenty dollars a share, and you know it's paying well, it's got like a three percent dividend yield. Um, And just just to make it simple, you mean if you, um, you know, there's there's five. Uh, if you take a dollar, well, a hundred pennies, and um, divide by five is tw twenty. Um, I don't know. What I'm trying to say, but but anyway, <laughs> let's. <laughs> Let's say it's let's say it drops a ten dollar share. Well, instead of a three percent dividend, you're you're actually getting six percent. Um, so, to me, you kind of win either way. You know, if if the price goes up, you know you got capital appreciation. Um, and if you wanted to you know, um, you could sell and just take a profit. And then if it, you know, drops some point in the future, you could rebuy it, you know, you buy it again. But um, most um, people that grow wealth, they don't, they're not holding a stock for a year or holding a stock for two years. You know, they're holding it for a lifetime. And, um, you just kind of dollar cost average, um, which um, which means you know. All right, let's take in my richest man of the Babylon, where you pay yourself the first 10 percent of your check every month. Um, you know, do you put fifty dollars a week on the first Monday? Uh, do, you put, do you put, uh, you know, ten, $10 up, <clears throat> um, $10 a week? Do you put in $50 a month? You know, um, do you put it in one lump sum? Do you, do you split it in half? Um, do you put like $25 a week and do $100 a month? a hundred dollars a week whatever but um, you want to be buying more <clears throat> typically when the price is low if you know what you're investing in but if you don't have you know extra money laying around to buy when it's low just just dollar cost average I mean sometimes you're gonna um, buy when it's high and Sometimes you're going to buy when it's low. Um, um, typically, most stocks um, move on earnings. So, did they did they beat the the top line? Did did they beat the the, the bottom line, um, um, 
was there was there news? Is it was is there a merger? Um, did the uh, CEO sell sell? Um, did the CEO uh, smoke weed or say something stupid or racist? Uh, you know. Um, a natural disaster it could be, you know, hurricane, flood, um, war, any kind of thing like that. But typically, the most stocks uh, um, four t four times a year um, have earnings, and some people buy right before the earnings, thinking it's going to be good, and some people. Um, wait for the news first and then they either buy or sell but um, that's the um, the main driver that drives whether a stock is high or low and then you got supply and demand you know if if you got um, everybody wanting to buy Tesla and this is a reason why why I love value investing. I know I'm talking about dividends, but you but I can still I can still be a dividend investor and still be a value investor at the same time. But if everybody is everybody wants the dream. Everybody wants the lottery ticket. Everybody wants the um, Cinderella story, but um, ugly, boring, cheap. Hated. I mean, if you if you are like a hundred percent, I'm a, a Budweiser person. You know this news about animal and Hazard Bush about you know about the um, transgender thing or whatever the commercial was. I didn't even see it, but the stock fell thirty percent based on that. And and I had used another example before. Um, with uh, Papa John's owner, founder, or whatever, had said some racist comments, and, and the stock had fell sixty percent. Um, um, another example I had uh, said before was Facebook. Facebook had failed something like ninety percent, and I don't even know why. I didn't even you know look and see see why. I think maybe they're uh, profits weren't growing as much or their ad revenue was down or something I can't remember but you know if you like Facebook and the stock falls 90% you know that's the time to buy um, but if all the money is going into the dream if all the money is going into the lottery tickets if all the money is going into the Cinderella stories, the Teslas, the Bitcoin, um, the Dogecoin, these is not going into these other, um, maybe a solid company that just had some bad news.